Welcome back. Let's take a look at futures right now. We're expecting a pretty good rally at the opening of trading this morning. The Dow Industrial is expected to open up better than 100 points. Uh, we are watching uh, a little disappointment this morning in markets, however. Investors digesting a surprise move from the Bank of England not to cut interest rates. They decided to leave rates unchanged this morning. Joining us right now is Kingsview Asset Management Chief Investment Officer and Fox Business contributor Scott Martin. Scott, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. So, is this a head scratcher? Like, a lot of people think that the UK is going to go into recession. We just we, we just uh, talked about this recently this morning with the CEO of ING. He said, yeah, UK will probably go into recession. Why would they not cut interest rates? It's, the mega it's surprising. I mean, if they had the pass to do it today, it was probably the day. Yes, there's another uh, meeting in August, so it's potential that there'll be some defer deferral to, the, to there. But I tell you, I mean, even after the, the vote uh, just a couple weeks ago, there was talk of stimulus coming out of the Bank of England. Now they've seen the pound absolutely crash, so maybe that has something to do with the fact that maybe they're going to dig in here a little bit, hope that the pound rises a little bit, and then when you come into August and cut rates, maybe it doesn't have that big of an effect on the currency. It is rising this morning, the British pound, and Anthony Scaramucci, you called that. You started buying the pound as soon as you, the news Which broke that they were guts, leaving, that the, they were leaving <laughs> the EU. Well, but... But not just because of speculation. I'm, we're opening an office in London, and I told my CFO this would be a really good opportunity to lock in our budget for next year at 15 to 20 percent lower. Good call. They need, they need to get the pound a little higher, but they probably don't want it going back to the pre-Brexit levels because right. it is helping their exports. But at the same time, they have to be worried about the middle and lower class in, in, in Great Britain, particularly if they want to renegotiate the deal and not leave the EU, which I'm also predicting. Yeah, cost of living is a big concern, I think, if you're in Britain right now. And I'll tell you, I'm also interested in seeing what's going to happen to the euro. The euro's kind of hung in there. And there's going to be more stimulus out of the eurozone, yeah. out of the ECB. But the euro, to me, it seems like it's got a lot of risk built into it as a currency. Yeah. And so you've seen the euro kind of hang in there, which has been a surprise, which, to your point, Anthony, is a little bit of a detriment to their economy because I think they need the euro to weaken as well to help with their exports. Yeah, the Bank of England, Bob Nardelli, voted 8 to 1, to, one. to keep rates at 0.5%. 0.5%. Yeah, but do you think Scott... Which feels like the sky, doesn't it? I know. They wanted a 25 this point cut. What's your take? Yeah, but do you think it, it was it, uh, tried to show a sign of confidence, no ah. panic, give some stability to the marketplace? Because they do have August coming up. So why why overreact within the, you know this period of it's, time? It's a fair point, Bob. Now here's the interesting thing: we've seen the futures in the stock market. Both, I mean, we've seen the S and P futures, but also the reaction in Europe so far not being so good. I mean, we've yeah. lost about a half a point to a point in some of the major averages. So Europe's off the high. It just goes sure. to show you how addicted this market is to this stimulus. I mean, you had Shinzo Abe the other day come out and, and find, what, about a trillion yen in the couch cushions yeah. in Japan and, and throw that in the market. That rallied the Nikkei incredibly. Four the straight markets days. want this so bad that if you don't get it, there maybe is the end of the rally. Yeah, where are they going to go, though? You're talking about rates at 0.5%. I mean, it's very difficult to, to well, do anything. Well, let me, uh, uh, Bob, if you got negative rates, why not have uh, issue 30 year bonds with negative rates and, and bet on infrastructure, get the return, and then pay back less than what you borrowed? What's the argument against that? Well, the argument for me is I wouldn't do it. I mean, I wouldn't go into a negative bond at this point. No, you wouldn't, but I'm saying as, if as you were the borrower, government as a bar, yeah. if you were the government issuing it, why wouldn't you issue it? Let's say you were the Secretary of Treasury, we were in a situation of negative rates in the US. Wouldn't you be issuing that paper all day long? Yeah, the the, the question is are you a buyer or are you a seller? Right? Mm -hmm. So depending on what side of the table you're on, then you very well may may find yourself in that situation. Time I think, for our and, Treasury to revisit the fifty year. Yes. They've thought they've talked. <laughs> <laughs> no, they talked about it. You laugh I, I, if you're worried about our fiscal health as a nation. I, I take back my laughter, but I'm just thinking of the interest rate on a 50-year bond out of the U.S. government. Yeah. What would it, 3%? Right. Oh, God. 3% uh, <laughs> in 50 years. Bob. It could happen, though. I mean, look at Japan. Negative on the long end. Real quick on stocks. Uh, market's been rallying. You a buyer or a seller here? I'm a seller here. I still believe in bonds long-term, especially in the U.S., and I still believe in gold. I think massive global stimulus, negative interest rates, and a lot of stocks. Sovereign debt. Ah, uh, come on. Gold is up so much. You're going to buy gold now after Maria, you rally? I would take a day like today. I mean, we had a, a pretty good sell-off in gold right this morning. I would take a day like today and the next couple of days if we sell off into, they say, the election, I would put gold in my portfolio. 1328 right now. 1328. I think we'd see 1500 in the next six months. The only place wow. I would put gold is in my teeth. 
So what, yeah, that's not a bad place, though. And you don't need. Okay. He doesn't need gold it. teeth, though. Preach. They look great. I don't. Preach. Exactly. I could use gold teeth. Yeah, when so does, if you find a dentist, when does the trees get topped? When does the dow get topped? <laughs> Give us the number. Well, here's the thing. So uh, you, you see the stimulus. It's about earnings, isn't it? About earnings. You just got right today, numbers from I know. JP Morgan. And, and those weren't bad, but JP Morgan's kind of the standout of the financial industry. Let's let's face it. They're kind of the prettiest girl at the financial yeah. dance. But and, and I, you know, I've been to a couple financial dances, and I know. But I'll tell you what, Bob. You get another 300, 400 point rally in, in the Dow, better start printing those Dow 20,000 hats and shirts. Ooh. We'd be 1,500 oh points away or so. Can you believe that? Yeah, it's Isn't that insane? With everything no. that's going on to see no. this market near record highs or at record highs, pretty extraordinary. See, I, I, I take the other side. I'm really not surprised. We talked about this two weeks ago that the market was going to rally. Lower rates are good for the market. For sure. Stability good for the market. You know who the prime minister is. You have a sense for their cabinet. Uh, the ECB and the Bank of England, despite today's announcement, they have a proclivity to go lower. Uh, and you've got some clarity coming in now. You've got two remaining candidates in the presidential. Yeah, but no growth. Uh, sweet no, growth. no growth. One to two percent. Choppy no job growth. numbers. Okay, growth is coming. The United <laughs> States is going to grow in the next. The next presidential administration will be more pro-business than the current. And you think it will be Trump? People I do think it will be Trump. Yeah, I mean, that's the big, either, big either of them will be more <laughs> pro-business than the current. That's a fair. Let's get, let, let's get to a break because we got to talk about Obamacare. Scott Martin, good to see you. Good to see Thank you. Thank you so much, Scott Martin. Another Obamacare failure result.